Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Queen of Hearts channel. And I would like to apologize for two things. Number one is that I am late for giving you guys any updates for Dark Road. And the reason why is because, well, I have trouble getting through to my old Google account ever since last year in December, which is at 2020. But this is 2021. I managed to get it back. And as of right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to make up my mistakes. And that is to give you a update for Dark Road. Now, I missed the opportunity to give you guys updates for Dark Road, like this one, for example. And there's also this one, which I don't remember. Yeah, I, I do remember that I did not update about this because this is the time where I was unable to get through to my old Gmail account. And let's just say I have to verify it and it requires an eight digit code. But thankfully I managed to have a backup code, which I will not mention, nor mention my email address. I like to keep this private, but let's just say it has become a miracle. So right now let's move on to the updates for Dark Road. And that is the new one right here. And it's going to be updated tomorrow. And first thing that we're going to look at is Master Zaynord. He is a reverse blue. His main ability is Faraga, which, which is fire, of course. His sub ability is magic of two, base power 50, plus 10 power. 100 which is a lot and as for the secondary base power and plus 10 power both of these are zero then we have the effects his first effect is fire strong magic attack i was trying to say fire strong magic attack but i have something in my mouth um his second uh, effect is a magic plus two for 10 seconds can be applied more than once. Effect value does not change when stacked. So that is uh, the Master Xehanort card. I need to drink some water because I believe either my mouth is dry or if I have spit in my mouth. I'm sorry that I have to mention this, but I just need to get out of my chest. But anyways... Um, we also have the Jewel Pack Purchase Campaign, but of course, we're not going to mention about this. You can read this for yourself, but what's really important that is not the Jewel Pack. It is the PVE event. So a new PVE event is held from this, this month of the 25th of January, and then it ends at February 7, which is next month. Go to Scala at Column and defeat enemies to reach the highest floor. Get card draw tickets and more as achievements and ranking award not awards, ranking rewards. My apologies. It's been around since I read any uh, updates for Dark Road. This time, there will be many water type enemies in the upper floors. So equip your best fire cards. I don't know why fire cards have to be water type enemies. It doesn't make any sense because water puts out the fire. I'm guessing that's just me and I don't know much about uh, RPG log logic, especially when it comes to Kingdom Hearts. But anyways, charms cannot be used when you are defeated in battle, which is pretty bad. You can resume from the floor you were defeated on, which is good because even though it's sad that we cannot use any charms, but I can understand that this is like a one-shot thing and you are only getting like one chance. I, I wouldn't say one chance, but it's like you only get one chance to try to get through these enemies without being defeated. However, you can still resume on the floor that you're defeated at. Which is, which is simply good. That, that's all I have to say. I, I don't have any words to express it. If multiple players reach the same floor rankings, will be organized on a first come, 
super serve basis. So that is the update, ladies and gentlemen. And I have to say, I am excited. I'm mostly excited for the PvE event because this is something that I'm really looking forward to. And the reason is because we're going to fight these enemies in a place called Scarlet at Column in Dark Road. And we're also going to be getting draw, draw tickets for the card pulls and also more... Uh, more stuff as achievements and ranking rewards and all that stuff. Um, I'm technically I'm technically excited about this event, this PVE event, because you know we we get more draw tickets and all that kind of stuff. But mainly it's because we get to fight these enemies in Scala at Column in cartoon animation form from Dark Road. But regardless of this being a mobile game, uh, I'm still getting back to Dark Road as soon as possible. I will probably be streaming this PvE on Twitch, which is uncertain right now, but you may never know. And I also have been streaming Melody of Memory, and I will probably try to post uh, videos of certain songs, except for ones that were copyrighted. So... At this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video, and that is it for today's update for Dark Road. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay at home and stay safe from the pandemic. Also, wash your hands every day, and I'll see you all in the next video.